Hello everyone, I am Dr. Lakana Kumar. I am a general ophthalmologist and a neuro ophthalmologist based in Sunway Velocity Hospital in Charas. In my previous videos, I have spoken about general ophthalmology and adult neuro ophthalmology, but today I would like to focus on pediatric neuro ophthalmology. What is pediatric neuro ophthalmology? Pediatric neuro ophthalmology deals with the entire visual pathway of a growing child in a pediatric age group. And why is this different from adult neuro ophthalmology? Because diseases in a pediatric age group in a growing visual system is different from an adult visual system. Therefore, the management and the treatment differs in a pediatric age group. As we can see here, the pediatric age group as similar to the adult age group has got an anterior visual pathway and a posterior visual pathway. The anterior visual pathway deals with the conduction of what we see, whereas the posterior visual pathway deals with the visual information of what we see. And because of what takes place in the visual pathway in the posterior aspect, we get to know what we see and how we respond to what we see. Therefore, diseases in a pediatric age group in this posterior visual pathway and interior visual pathway differs in their management and differs in the dosage of treatment that we give to these children. Now, this is pediatric neuro ophthalmology. Now, in pediatric neuro ophthalmology, I would like to concentrate on one particular disease known as pediatric optic neuritis. Pediatric optic neuritis is seen in a child after a common viral infection. Not all children develop this, but certain children after viral infection can complain of visual loss or visual deterioration. And how this differs from an adult optic neuritis is that the child may present with painless loss of vision or painless decrease in vision. Unlike an adult, the patient can have pain and decrease in vision. Whereas in a child, the patient may just come and say, I cannot see or my vision is deteriorating, but there is no pain. We have to take this as a serious uh, note from the child. And what is important here is early treatment and early management in pediatric optic neuritis can be sight saving. Now, what do we see in pediatric optic neuritis? In pediatric optic neuritis, we see the optic nerve is swollen. This is a swollen optic nerve and this is a normal optic nerve. This can be seen very clearly when we use our eye instrument. Now, when we see this, we know that the child has got an optic nerve problem and if it's associated with blurring of vision and a previous viral infection, we can come to the conclusion of an optic neuritis. The treatment and the management differs from an adult optic neuritis. In conclusion, if your child complains of painless decrease in vision after a common viral attack or after a common flu, we have to consider their pediatric optic neuritis as one of the diseases and early treatment and management can be sight saving. Thank you.